Hi guys, this is Stephanie here at Blind Cat Rescue. And I am outside in room four with Candy. She's a very sweet girl. She's very lucky to be here because she can see. She's not a blind kitty. Isn't she pretty? Okay, come on. You can get him. <laughs> Candy, are you getting down? <laughs> oh, everybody loves Candy. She's very spoiled. If you ever come and visit here, Candy will be the first kitty to come up to you, and she loves to be held like a baby. I just can't hold her that way right now because I only have one hand. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Let's not eat that. That's a toy. Play with it. Well, hi, Nikki. Peekaboo. I see a kitty. I think Candy's gonna let me get up right this second, y'all. She's very happy to be in the lap. Here. I wanna see your face. <laughs> hey, Charity, I see you. Snickers out in the lobby, Mariana. I'll show him to you in about six or seven minutes. Oh, then Candy's let me get up. <laughs> okay, Candy, I really have to get up. Come on. I want to carry you all day. Let's let her have her chair back. Emily. Emily looks a lot like Ella in room two. Sleepy. Nikki, he was the kitty in the box. That's Lisa, Lisa's fur. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa likes to play. This is how she plays. She likes to bite.
I got you, Lisa. I got you, Lisa. And keep in mind, this kitty's blind. She's so sweet. Everybody loves Lisa. <laughs> hey, Mickey. Casper. And guys, if you want to know more about these cats, you can go on our website at blindcatrescue.com. And there's a link that says meet the cat. It'll take you to blindcats.org and each individual cat will be listed there with their own page with pictures from when they first got here and their little story and how to sponsor them <laughs> Emily's watching something what you watching Emily? no she does have one eye so she can see out of her eye now that all the kitties here are completely blind. Look at Smudge, he's hanging out. He listens to the birds over here at the bird feeders. Look at Emily. Hi Smudgy. And Smudge came here when he was a kitten. He had a little black morph on the top of his head. And that's how he got his name Smudge. But when he got a little bit older, it faded. That's how he got his name. <laughs> Smudge. Literally made me fall. It's okay. Come here. <laughs> smudge, smudge, smudge. Smudge sometimes likes to run out into the lobby with Snicker. But lately, him and Snicker are not getting along. Candy watching the birds. I think that's all the kitties out here. The rest are inside. Bye bye, Lisa. She's busy cleaning herself. Well, hi, Rudy. Is he being nice to you? Allison, you don't have to feel bad for the kitties. They act just like normal kitties. They don't even know they're blind. <laughs> they like to play. Y'all play nice now. Nikki, Rudy just wants somebody to play with, I think. You want somebody to play with, Rudy? <laughs> Here's Sandy, he's just trying to get out of the way. Come here, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, are you being shy? A little bit, maybe. <laughs> oh, here's Richie. I didn't even see him up here. Hi, buddy. Hi, Richie. <laughs> Just me. Bye-bye, Richie. I'm going inside. My smudge. Let's, see. Let's go see Paul. He's in here. Where is Paul? Come here, Snicker. Hi, buddy. Snicker, he's a lobby cat, but he gets to come into room 4, too. I think he wants to go out in the lobby. Okay, Snicker, you can go. 
You too, Sludge. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> you can leave him out for a minute if you want. Yeah, he's going to run in when she puts the food in anyway. Right, Paul? Hi, Pixie. Pixie. <laughs> She's coming to the edge because she wants to get on my shoulder. <laughs> she loves that. I can't let you get on my shoulder, Pixie. I have the camera in my hand, okay? Hey, Charity. Come here. Come here, Charity. Come on. Come on, Charity. Come on. I love Charity, she's so funny. <laughs> oh, Candy wants to be picked up again. She came back. She's in a really good mood today. Candy has very extreme mood. She's either really happy or really upset. There's no in between with her. See, now she's happy, but sometimes she won't even look at me. If she's not the first cat to be pet, she has her priorities. I can't pick you up. I gotta go to the next room. Good, Emily. Good, Emily. Now, Emily, she can see out of her one eye. But most of the kitties that get on the wheel are blind cats. Blind cats seem to like the wheel more than the seeing cats. It says connection is weak, but it's still working. That's the hmm? Everybody, please take a minute and hit the big old share button. You going back in smoke? He came out with Snicker. Bunny. Bunny's also in Lobby Kitty. She gets into everything. <laughs> um, he gets the yellow food. Bunny, bunny. Here comes Snickerdoodle. He just came out of room four. He heard the food. I think he wants to play. No, the blind cats use the litter box just like regular cats do. Say bye bye to Snicker. I'll show him again when I come out of ring three. Bye, buddy. And here's Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Don't forget, guys, to hit the share button so other people can see the kitties too. Bless you, Nelly. Was that a sneeze? I don't even know if that was a sneeze. <laughs> Andrew, most times they can hear the toy. Some, some of the toys have little bells on them. But blind cats, they can feel vibrations better. So some of our toys, they don't even have bells on them or sounds. But they still get played with. Really? And yes, Liza, most of the toys that we have, we put we put in boxes, and we put catnip on them. So, yeah. Mm 
<laughs> they love these little scratchers. These little scratchers are called scratch and rest. They like to sit in them and scratch them. <laughs> Michelle, most of the kitties here are very friendly. Well, all of our cats are friendly. We just have a couple that are shy. Yes, they're very friendly here. They're so used to people, though. These cats are used to people being around a lot. Angel. And Angel, she's been here the longest out of any cat. She's not the oldest, but she's been here the longest. She's been here since 2005. So yeah, this is their forever home. Once they're here, they're here for life. We don't have to worry about adopting them, or we don't have to worry about them going to homes where they don't belong. They just live here, and you can watch them, you can sponsor them, you can sustain them, but you can't take them home. Um, these scratchers here, we, we don't have to change them very often. Once they start looking really bad or falling apart, we'll change them. But it seems like our cats here, they mostly lay in them. They don't scratch them a lot. Some of the cats bite them. Sure, we have a cat here that's blind and deaf. Actually, she's outside in this room. The only suggestion we have for that is that with our cat here that's blunt, that's deaf, we have to, when we go up to her, we have to let her smell us or we have to tap on something so she knows it's us and she's not, you know, scared. Annie, you were here at 12 o'clock tour. Did you even get up? You just like this bed? <laughs> Annie? Here, you can have your toy. You can have it. I'm going to go outside. Most of the cats have been outside today. It's such a pretty day. I'm going to show you the, our deaf kitty now. Someone I was asking about her. Here she is in her little pineapple. Why on earth would she be in this pineapple in this heat? I don't know, but here she is. Her name's Penny. She's blind and she's deaf. Very sweet. Yes, Vicky, you're right. The only way way we know that definitely lady she's blind is because she doesn't know her name. She's the only kitty that doesn't know her name. Other than that, she acts just like a normal cat. Israel, that's why when we go up to Penny, we let her smell us and so she knows it's us and not like some random cat that she doesn't like. She's used to us anyway, though. <laughs> okay, who else is out here? Here is, who's that, Nina? Hi, Nina, you're in Olivia's spot. Olivia's usually here. Nina Nina. We call her Nina Ballerina because she walks in circles a lot. Some of the cats do that. And who's down here? Is that Olivia? <laughs> Hi, 
Olivia, she has a sister in room one. Natasha's her sister. She's the 20 in room one. <laughs> Sorry, you probably can't see her too good. It's the lighting. Plus, she's a black kitty. Yes, Olivia. See, look, Penny found me. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, every single cat here, with the exception of two which go in and out of the regular building, they all have like a little area outside they can go to. Penny, I gotta get up. Mariana, it's been hot here the last couple of days, but we've had a lot of rain too. Hi Marge, she knew she was next. <laughs> and Marge, she came from a breeder. She had a sister, she passed away. But she came from a Persian breeder who said that she wasn't perfect enough, so... Well, excuse me, Penny. <laughs> excuse me, Penny. Okay. What a fancy collar. When people send collars for specific kitties, we will put them on the cat that they like if... It's a breakaway collar, and if the cat tolerates it, if the cat fights it, we'll just take it off. But some of the cats, they like the collar. Some of them, they just can't deal with them. Okay, bye-bye, Morgie. I'm getting up. I gotta go see Hermes. He's over here waiting in his chair. If I can get up. Okay, here he is. Hermes seems to like chairs more than kitty beds. I think it's the texture he likes. And here's Tori. We call her Treetop Tori. She's always up high somewhere. Tori, you could at least turn around. Good girl. <laughs> Itching. Bye bye, Hermes. <laughs> hey, y'all, look at Penny. This is the, the blind and deaf cat we were talking about earlier. Look. <laughs> Mom, you going in with me? You want to go in? You going in? Here comes Boone. Big boy Boone. Yes, Diana, sometimes the cats are not in the mood to play. Right, Boone?
Oh, that is so sweet. Most of the time the cats get along. Occasionally they fight, but for the most part, they're good. Bye, Tori. Let's see. I think Cassie, well, I gotta find Molly first, and here's Cassie. She's very shy. So I'm not gonna try to pet her. And there she is. She's sweet, but she's just very shy. And I'm missing one cat. I'm missing Molly. She's always so hard to find because she's so little. And she blends in with everything. I think she's up here. Molly. There she is. Hey, Molly. Diana, you can go to our website at blindcatrescue.com and the link to our wish list is on that website. <laughs> she likes this climber. It's to be up high. <laughs> Bye, sweet Molly. Have to go to room two. Bye -bye. <laughs> Bye, Boone. Bye, Hermie. Bye, Penny. Bye, Boone. Bye, Hermie. Bye, Penny. Snicker just on his boxes hanging out. Just uses them like stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he does that. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he thought you had treats. Crinkle the bag. Come on, he's gonna bag. <laughs> She's gonna give me some snicker, okay? Come on. I'm gonna get a room too. into room two. No, Chester, you gotta stay in here. Jamie Lynn, we're used to the cats here, and most of the cats are used to us, and they're used to humans every day. That's why it's easy to go up to Penny and pet her. Hi, Oreo. Or he has the sleepiest kitty at Blind Cat Rescue. He's always laying down in his bed. He just likes belly rubs. Doesn't play very much. But he's sweet, sweet. <laughs> Hi, Carrot. Hi, Skittle. Now Skittle, he can see. He has his eyes still. I got your little cube. Let's see if he wants to play. <laughs> Jamie Lynn, yes, sometimes if we go up to her really quickly, she'll like step back and then she'll smell us and she'll make sure we're human and then she's okay. saying Jack in the Box. Look at Peanut. Now these three are brothers. Peanut here and Jelly Bean walking that way and Skittles. They came together. That's why they're all here even though Skittle can see. Peanut just casually walking. He has to get his exercise in for today. Go Peanut! <laughs> yes, I was talking about you.
me still stuck in this toy skittle. Come back and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. Hey, look at Pebbles over here. <laughs> Mariana, if you would want a wheel for your cat, I would suggest you not get this one. The bad thing about this wheel is it was made out of wood and it's very hard to clean. But we have other wheels. And if you want to look at a different wheel, that's a lot cheaper and easily clean. It's called One Fast Cat. You can look at their website. We have that wheel in room one. We have three of those wheels here in the next room. Hey, y'all, too. The little gray one here, he's mean sometimes to the other cats, even his brothers. But we love him still. He wants, still want to play Skittle. He's never going to let me leave. Okay, crazy. Okay, crazy. That's enough crazy. <laughs> Pebbles, you don't want to play with me today? Pebbles is usually the one that's up and running, but Skittle is very excited today. He's mostly sleeping, though, so I can see. <laughs> He's putting a hole in that thing. <laughs> Here, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Hi Pebbles, little fat girl, little fat girl, little fat girl, little fat girl. What are you doing? You still want to play? This is why I have scratches on my hands all the time, playing with these cats like this. They like it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. You're my sweet girl. Thank you all for watching. The kitties appreciate all the attention. Not that they don't get enough of it. Hey, stop playing with my hair, Skittle. It's not cool. Are you a hairdresser now, or you just want to tear it up? Okay, tear it up. No, you're not eating that. Give me that feather. That's not a bird. <laughs> Hi, Greta. Greta was in this egg earlier. She was here earlier. Lori, we did have we do have one cat, Tori. When she came here, she was pregnant. You can read her story on blindcatrescue.com under Meet the Cats. But of course, her babies they couldn't be saved, so she's here now with us. Who have I not seen in this room? Let's go find Chester. Since so Skittle's getting all the attention today. Ow, come on, you don't have to bite my leg. <laughs> hey, Chester. BCR is located in North Carolina, St. Paul's, North Carolina, in the United States. Hey, Chester to Pester. Give me five. Or give me a handshake, something. Okay. 
Mr. Chester. You pester me, I'm gonna pester you. Here, come play with me. You wanna play with that part? Really? Here, play with your toy. Here. <laughs> oh, that's my little pester. That's better. Mariana from Raleigh, it's about it's about two hours from Raleigh. An hour and forty five minutes if you're going fast. Elaine, we cut their nails once per week. Okay, let me get up, Chester. Jelly bean. Chester just wants to sit. <laughs> hey, don't bite his tail. He's on my lap. Stop that, Jelly bean. Jelly bean loves attention. Don't bite his tail. Stay. <laughs> Hi, Camille. Every time I'm in the room for tour, she's always eating at the food bowl. Or in the windowsill. Okay, she's gonna be camera shy today. Little Miss Prissy. And here's Annabella. She came out her little pineapple. Ella, Ella. Ella has to go to a veterinary special specialty hospital next week for an eye doctor appointment. They're gonna figure out what's wrong with her eye. She's only been here for a couple months, and she still doesn't get along too well with the other kitties. She mostly likes to hang up here in her little throne. Ella Bella. But Ella, she's very friendly, but she gets anxious very easily. We actually have a warning sign on here for visitors about Ella. I'll show it to you in just a minute. That's what it says about Ella. It's okay. I, it's okay. I've got to show Felix and Honey, I think. I think Honey's outside, or maybe not. Oh yeah, there she is. Hi, Honey. <laughs> honey, why are you so soft? For some reason, Honey is the softest cat out of the 90 kitties here. If you pet all of them, you'll probably agree that she's the softest. I don't know why. Her fur feels like silk. Bye bye, sweet girl. So now I have to find Felix. I think I see him in the corner. Sitting right, right by the water bowl. All the kitties have a fountain in each room and then they have two water bowls. Felix, what are you doing over here? Huh? No, Jamie Lynn, honey can't see. She just looks like she can see, but her, you can look at her pupils and tell she can't see. Bless you, Felix. Come here. Come here. Felix was in a really bad accident before. He has problems with his nose. He's a very, very sweet kitty. He's one of the sweetest. I gotta go, Felix. I gotta go show the room one kitty. Bye-bye, Pebbles. Bye bye, pretty Camille. Keller. Stop, Keller, stop. Keller, he's one of our oldest kitties here. 
He's at least 16 or 17. Sometimes he works in circles like that. He's been to the vet multiple times. Nothing's wrong with him. It's just what he does. And there's Stevie on his wheel. This is the wheel I was talking about earlier. Kitties love it. Only a couple of them walk on it though. Yes, Willow, I hear you. Willow's gonna meow until she gets her food. This is what she does. She literally will meow until she gets her food. And Willow here and Stevie, the kitty that just got off the wheel, they're brother and sister. Hey, Dedra, you can get Stevie if you want. Stevie, he's on a special diet, so he has to go outside to eat. Well, he has to go in the lobby to eat. He can't eat with the other kitties. I'm going to give Willow her food. Stevie, I'm going to give Willow her food because she wants something meowing. She keeps meowing at me. Here, Willow. Here. Maria, Stevie's tail has gotten a lot better since we started using the new stock on his tail. Yeah, see, she's content now. No, Yoshi's meowing. Yes, Yoshi, I'm going to put all y'all's food in here, okay? Just one minute. Connie, in this building, there are four rooms. In the other building, there are three rooms and one quarantine room. Yes, Elaine, it is feeding time. Normally, after I'm done with tour, they get their wet food on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So that's why the kitties are meowing. They're waiting on their food. That's right. You want to go ahead, you want to put that food in here. Because Yoshi's meowing. And I gave Willa hers already. Hey, Georgia. And Georgia came from Georgia. Oh, she got her name. She's a little fat girl. But when she was, well, about last year or the year before when she got here, she was really, really, really tiny. She was definitely malnourished. You can look at her picture on blindcats.org. Okay. Rebecca, Stevie, he has really bad IBS, like irritable bowel. He can only have certain foods. He can't eat chicken. He can't have fish. He has to eat like buffalo and duck. He has to have different forms of protein than the other kitties. Special food. Jamie. Jamie gets to get to the vet tomorrow for a checkup. Four, four of the cats will be going tomorrow for checks up, checkups. He's going, Emily, Bunny's going, and someone from the other building, I forgot who. Jamie, you don't want your food? No? He doesn't want to eat it now. He'll eat it later. Here's Wi-Fi. Maybe he's looking for different food. He doesn't like this kind, I guess. Here, there's that kind. You can eat that kind. Yoshi, he's happy with his face in a bowl. <laughs> and let's go outside. Who's out here? Three kitties. Hi, Serena. <laughs> Serena's a little bit shy sometimes. It's okay, Serena. Okay, go get your food. I'll pet you later. Hey, Natasha. Greta, I mean, Natasha's a tortie. You probably can't see her too well because of the lighting. She's very pretty. And here's Licorice, our big fat boy. Big fat boy Licorice. 
Connie, all the kitties here get wet food and they get dry food. They get dry food. Dry food is always in their room and wet food they get a couple times per day. Bye, licorice. Licorice, licorice. Yeah, there's a lot of black kitties in this room. Four, no, five black cats in here. This room has the least amount of cats in it, in this building. Because this is our special room. Serena. See, with Serena, when you pet her, you have to go to real slow, and you can't be loud, or she will just run away from you. About a year and a half ago, we couldn't even pet her. She was so shy. Look how Keller's eating. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let the kitties eat. We'll go out and see Snicker. Bye, Willow. Loud. Where is Snicker? Okay, here's Bunny. This is her chair. Sorry if I can't answer all of y'all's questions. Sometimes I don't see all the questions. But if you do comment on here, normally we reply to comments, especially if they're questions, because it's on our Facebook page. Yeah, Rosa, I'll show Snicker in just one minute after I show Bunny. I don't know why, but Bunny, she likes this chair more than any kind of cat bed. That's her thing. I think Snicker went into room four, so I'll go in here and show you Snicker. Snicker comes in this room at night, and there are no kitties. They're all outside. Where is Snicker? Hi, Snicker Doodle. You want to come in? Thank you, Mandy, for watching. Thank you to everyone for watching. And Snicker is busy eating, but here he is. Now the cats don't know they're blind. And we've had experiences with cats who had limited vision and their eye had to be taken out for whatever reason. Like Olivia. She, for like a month, she was very shy and she hid a lot. But eventually she came back around. But yeah, most of the cats, they don't know they're blind. Rebecca, not every single one of these cats are blind. Some of them have limited vision or maybe one eye, but most of them are blind in this house. <laughs> Good Snicker. <laughs> Everybody loves Snicker. Yes, they do. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. If you would like to help the cats, you can visit our website at blindcatrescue.com. There are links on there. We, we're in a couple contests, too, as well. You can be a sponsor of a kitty or you can just be a sustainer. And you can also just donate or if you shop on Amazon, if you buy something for yourself, if you shop through Amazon Smile, you can pick Blanket Rescue. And whenever you buy anything on Amazon, a certain amount of proceeds will benefit Blanket Rescue with any purchase, not just to Blanket Rescue. Say bye-bye to Snicker. Thank you all for watching. The next tour will be tomorrow at about 12.15 p.m. Bye, Snickerdoodle.